Hi, it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. And today, guys, I am going to be helping you guys get ready for Tower Challenge number five by giving you lots of tips and tricks how to get your kingdom ready for it. And it is going to be starting on March 21st. So we only are a few days away now. So we need to make sure that our kingdom is all set and ready to go. So let's start here by talking about happiness. I talk about this a lot in my videos and I really, I'll emphasize it again, how important it is to make sure you have your kingdom in ecstatic. This definitely helps with character drops and magic and so you definitely want to have your kingdom's happiness in ecstatic. If it is in joyous it is still pretty good but if you want to collect those character tokens a lot faster you need to have it in ecstatic. So how do you do that guys? Go and find the little kids walking around your park that have happiness above them and tap it and then that will increase your happiness percent. And as always, if you want extra ways, you can always, again, click the other kids that have um, different characters above their heads. So you can see here we've got Mike Wazowski and Goofy. So those guys will be uh, definitely satisfied pretty soon in the kingdom. You can also get a happiness from your parade float by watching an ad after your parade float is uh, complete before it goes uh, to cool down. So we won't be able to see that, but if you guys send your parade float out, as soon as it's done, if you're connected to the internet, it will allow you to watch a free advertisement for um, happiness, which is definitely great. Um, the Another way, guys, is by opening chests. If you guys open chests, you will guarantee yourself some happiness depending on uh, which chest you open. It will definitely vary. So bronze chest is a little bit less than, let's say, a silver or gold chest, but um, obviously the fastest way, I always say, is if you want to use some of your gems to open a legendary or platinum chest here they give the highest amount of happiness if you're looking for a quick fix in your kingdom. Especially if you guys are newer players and you're looking to collect or finish collecting uh, some of the collections, it definitely is worth it. You can also purchase a chest pack and that basically will get you there um, pretty much right away. Uh, but again, if you're pretty close to getting it into ecstatic, I would recommend just using some gems for that. But it is entirely up to you. So the bigger your kingdom, the more happiness you will have walking around. So expand your kingdom, guys. Get it nice and big. Um, now, what do we need in terms of characters for this upcoming tower challenge? So we know the balloon will fly away while the tower challenge is going on and Maleficent's tower will go there instead. This is also the area of the kingdom, guys, that Maleficent uh, will stand. But also, too, when we do limited time events, we will have the battlegrounds here so um, our characters will fight the villains and so on. So. This is a pretty important area of the kingdom, so don't forget, guys, this is where the tower will be. Sometimes we've had glitches in the past, and your tower will appear right here, um, right uh, just at the end of Main Street. Uh, you know what, guys? If that happens, right into Disney Magic Kingdoms. But it is it has happened to me once before. Um, I haven't had that problem um, in the last few tower challenges, but um, it has happened where the tower randomly appears somewhere where it's not supposed to, but it usually sorts itself out a couple of days in. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen to you guys. If it does, you guys can always write to me and I'll sort of tell you sort of the best way to go about it. But it usually doesn't stop your progress for the tower challenge. Okay, so now into characters and which ones are gonna be important. Princess and the Frog, no, you will not need to worry about this collection, so I highly recommend leaving it alone for now. I am ready to level up some of my characters, um, so I might do one for like 60 minutes if I'm waiting for the character I want to level up or something like that, but again, guys, not necessary to worry about these guys for now. Little Mermaid, you do not need at all. Um, mine are all maxed out, which is great. I worked on that during the Princess and the Frog limited time event, so again, don't worry about these guys. You can even send them home, especially if you've got them all maxed out that is definitely an option that I have thought about um, for the challenge but I you know what I want the magic and I'm not too worried about that right now but it is an option for you guys um, to send those characters home or collections that you guys don't really want to use obviously Merlin well he's useful for the gathering spell he doesn't really do anything else right now for you obviously like you can collect um, elixirs and stuff from him but in terms of him being useful during the tower challenge not so much um, 
Mickey and Friends collection. So basically, guys, we can guarantee ourselves that these collections, or this collection, I guess in particular, um, will be useful. Not all the characters, but a lot of them will be useful um, for each chapter. Uh, Mickey and Friends often appears, so make sure, guys, if you are newer players, to get your characters maxed out. The higher the character levels, the better you do and more coins you can collect to collect more characters and attractions and obviously the featured character which in this limited time event is going to be LeFou from Beauty and the Beast. So um, I will show you guys my collection of that in just a few minutes here. So all of my Mickey and Friends guys are all maxed out so I am I'm ready to go. I'm feeling pretty good about my Mickey and Friends collection. Toy Story will be useful as well. Every single tower challenge, Toy Story has been useful, just like Mickey and Friends collection. And this is great for you guys that are newer players as well, because no matter what, you guys will be able to collect coin with these characters. But again, if you're newer to the game, get these guys maxed out. If you are just welcoming Zerg or you just have recently and he's like only maybe like a level five or less than that, don't worry about him so much. Worry about like Jesse, Woody, and Buzz Lightyear. They, they're pretty much staples. Also to uh, your second row of Toy Story characters are often extremely useful. Rex not so much, um, but I find him extremely useful for a lot of other things. He may appear in the Toy Story collection, but the last tower challenge he wasn't useful so we'll see what ends up happening with Rex but if you haven't purchased Rex you I wouldn't say to rush and do it again just because he wasn't useful in the last one just focus on your other characters in the Toy Story collection now again I almost have everybody maxed out here the only one that I don't have maxed out right now is toy alien and I'm still working on collecting for him but he's level 9 so he is high enough for me I'm not gonna like stress about getting him to a 10 I know I can always go to Merlin's shop and purchase uh, the last of his ears hats if I want but I'm gonna save my elixirs for the attractions that I definitely want to add to my kingdom pretty soon so guys I'm not gonna worry about um, maxing out toy alien for this but again if you guys can at least welcome toy alien um, he can definitely be useful for the tower challenge it just depends um, whether DMK uh, uses him as one of the characters or not so toy the only one I don't have maxed out but he will be I'd say in the next like month or two so that'll be good now Cinderella Cinderella has pretty much again is one of those collections that has been useful every single tower challenge the last tower challenge though I will say that they did incorporate the three new Cinderella characters that were released in the couple updates ago uh, very very recent and guys I have been working on trying to get them sort of maxed out or at least pretty high I've got Drizella at a 9 she is almost ready to go to a 10 so that is something I'm gonna try and do even if the tower challenge is going on I might still try and get her uh, leveled up or maxed out but we'll have to wait and see and I know with the update uh, this is gonna change a little bit because the character tokens might go up or the magic cost will go up I'm not quite sure what will happen with that um, I'm hoping this collection won't be touched um, in terms of these three characters I'm assuming it's going to be like Cinderella Prince Charming and Fairy Godmother that will be harder to collect for but we will see what happens with that guys the update has not come to iOS just yet um, I'm not quite sure why but usually we're like the first ones to get the update but I'm not like overly worried right now I was gonna hold off on doing the update like right away so the fact it's not here isn't stressing me out if it's not here like by the 20th on the evening then yeah I'm gonna be contacting DMK and I'm gonna be saying like oh my gosh stressing so much uh, you know, I want to do the tower challenge tomorrow, but I think uh, the update will definitely come. I'm not worrying about it right now. So I've got it like uh, 24 to 36 hours before I start stressing. So again, not too worried about it. It's supposed to come out today at some point for everyone. Um, okay, so yeah, so this is sort of the look at my characters here. Everybody's at a 9. Um, again, Anastasia, I don't think I'm going to be able to get her to a 10. 
uh, fast enough for the start of the tower challenge, but I know that uh, Lady Tremaine and Drizella are definite possibilities. So we will just, again, wait and see who I choose to level up and who I consider to be more important. Next, we have got Peter Pan. Well, the only one I have is Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell in the past has collected refresh tokens, so she is pretty useful uh, for that. Also, some of your Toy Story characters could be useful for that as well. Mickey and Friends, it, again, usually depends. Um, sometimes Mickey has even been useful for refresh tokens. Refresh tokens, guys, are, again, super handy uh, during the tower challenge as you go along, so make sure you use them wisely. So, other than that, guys, well, if they use Peter Pan, well, I'm just going to say that, you know, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble for that. But let's hope that they stick to their norm and use some of the earlier collections. Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean has been useful, and Jack Sparrow has been useful in tower challenges in the past. So I would definitely recommend working on maxing these guys out as well if you guys are pretty close to that or getting them as high as you can. If they're at like a one or two, try and get them to like a five over the next couple of days. Make that sort of more your priority. Get them a little bit higher for sure. I'm not saying chapter one is going to make them useful, but they definitely could be um, definitely for the start of chapter two. Uh, they have been useful in the past. Um, now, in terms of the second row of Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, you know, Davy Jones is basically the only one that I would say, yeah, he could appear there in the Tower Challenge as being useful, but I'm going to say Barbosa and Tia Dama, nope, but... We'll see if they decide to incorporate those two in the Tower Challenge. Um, I'm not worried about Barbosa, but I do not have Tia Dama. If that is the case, I may decide to uh, welcome her during the Tower Challenge. I doubt I will, though, guys. I'm definitely going to save this one for after the Tower Challenge um, if I can hold off. Again, unless, like, I don't know, they use Peter Pan and... They mix the collections like they did the last time, and so they have Peter Pan, and then Tia Dama gets thrown in as one of those, like, Pirates of the Caribbean characters with it, then, yeah, okay, fine, I might choose to welcome her, but I'm gonna try and hold off. I've got the magic to do it, but I want to work on leveling up my characters for the upcoming chapters, or the current chapter, uh, while the Tower Challenge is going on. Okay, Monsters, Inc., another collection that's extremely useful. I do not have Boo yet, guys. Boo has been useful in the Tower Challenges in the past. I'm not going to purchase her, though, before the start of it. Um, this is definitely something I've talked to you guys about doing, and I fully intend on bringing um, some more uh, paid characters in. I Again, I've been sort of hesitant on... Uh, doing that at the moment just because there's been a lot of other stuff in my kingdom I've been working on and uh, Also too as you guys know if you've been sort of following along with my videos if you guys are new You may not know this, but I had a little bit of voice trouble recently uh, So I need to give my vocal cords a couple days rest So sometimes like I still find like a bit of the scratchiness So I've been avoiding bringing in and starting any more dialogue with characters that I would need to practice more voice impressions for so I know it's not great for you guys and I'm sorry I'm holding off on doing that um, but I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer and uh, try and avoid doing some of the voice impressions that I know strain my vocal cords so anyways Monsters Inc is very helpful so make sure those guys are ready Wally -E is useful as well um, not every single single tower challenge but I definitely have to say that uh, they are a collection in themselves that have been useful. And there's only two characters, so, you know, working on them, trying to get them a little bit higher never hurts. Tangled! This collection occasionally does appear in Tower Challenges, not every single time. But I would definitely say that it is worth working on Rapunzel. If you have her, Flynn Rider. Maximus has appeared, but I would definitely say that like Flynn and Rapunzel are definitely going to be your go-to. Mother Gothel, I don't know if she'll be useful in the Tower Challenge. I'm going to say probably not. Um, so if you guys are like, oh, I haven't welcomed her, don't stress. Seriously, don't stress. Worry about uh, Rapunzel and Flynn. Next, Sleeping Beauty. They are a collection that I think every single Tower Challenge has appeared to be useful. Make sure Prince Philip is definitely leveled up and ready to go because he is always useful. Aurora um, has been useful as well, but I have to say the fairies in the past have been the most useful. Meriwether is hit or miss whether she will appear in the Tower Challenge. Again, I don't have her as a paid character, 
But again, something that I'm looking forward to in the near future. Definitely in 2019, I will be bringing Meriwether in um, for sure. Like, there's absolutely no way that I won't because I love the fairies. They're so cool and all, they're all maxed out except Meriwether because I don't have her. But again, uh, Flora and Fauna, uh, which are the red and green fairy, if you guys <laughs> don't know, uh, they are the ones that uh, definitely appear usually to be the most useful if uh, that collection is chosen. Zootopia! Zootopia is usually, a, like, useful, but again, if you guys haven't unlocked this part of the storyline, don't panic. Uh, Flash, again, I don't have, so for a lot of you guys that, you know, are like, oh no, my kingdom's not that big, don't worry, there's still characters I don't even have, um, and that I'm working on and stuff like that, so I would say Nick Wilde is probably gonna be pretty useful, so make sure that if you have him, then try and work on getting him a little bit higher. Bambi, uh... You know, guys, I wouldn't worry about Bambi too, too much. If they do use it, they'll probably mix it in with, like, Zootopia or um, what other collection could they do? They, like, Tangled. So they might just put those two collections together. So if you have Tangled, you should be okay. Um, but again, we're not sure what they're going to mix together. But Bambi is a collection they could use. But, uh, again, not one of those, like, super useful ones. The Jungle Book, usually not super useful either. Again, these are collections that are later on in the main storyline, and they try and at least give you guys the first two chapters that are pretty, I don't want to say easy, but definitely with characters that are part of the main storyline earlier on. So Mickey and Friends, Toy Story, um, what else did they use? Pirates of the Caribbean, Cinderella. Like those are more of the, the storylines that you're kind of more concerned about for sure. So again, I wouldn't panic about that. Um, I did bring in Baloo. So if Baloo ends up being useful, then that'll be great at some point, but he's not very high, so not the best, but at least I'll still be able to challenge the tower with him if uh, you know I don't have refresh tokens or whatever, so at least somebody can go out. But again, Jungle Book, mm, I would say don't worry about it too, too much. More again, worry about those earlier collections. Now, in terms of uh, collections from limited time events that you guys will need, Disney Magic Kingdoms has released from, on Facebook. They had uh, a little thing where they said if we get like 10,000 likes, uh, we'll uh, release this, five, we'll release this. So they, they did that, so I'll explain that to you guys in a minute here. Um, so the Incredibles, we're not going to use them in this tower challenge and that is totally fine by me because I do not have all the collections and stuff. They used it in the last tower challenge so it makes sense that it's not going to be useful. Um, like I do have like Dash for example maxed out and stuff. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Um, and yeah, so like again, I'm not, wouldn't be helpless but I know they're not going to use it on this tower challenge now. Uh, so yeah, Incredibles, don't worry about them. The Nightmare Before Christmas, don't stress about them either. They have just used the, uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas recently, um, especially when we got to welcome the mayor as the featured character. So, again, don't stress about that. Frozen, a lot of you guys were like, oh no, it's going to be Frozen that we're going to need. Nope, you do not need Frozen. Even though the legendary chess packs are available right now, that does not mean that Frozen is going to be one of those collections, and it will not be. Mulan, we just had the Mulan Tower Challenge where Cricky was the featured character. I did not get him because I ended up getting Mulan. If you guys sort of missed on like why I didn't get that, uh, it was because Mulan was so much event currency. I chose her and then I couldn't get enough uh, to get all the character tokens I needed for Cricky. I got like almost everything but again I was missing out like I think I got all of the character tokens I was just missing out on the currency to like welcome him or something so it was super oh it was frustrating but anyways I did not get that featured tower challenge character because I chose Mulan and I wanted to try and get the costumes and stuff like that for her during that so that tower challenge was a bit messy so hopefully this one won't be uh as ridiculous so mulan will not be useful beauty and the beast on the other hand guys well i think it was a little bit of a giveaway considering lefou is going to be added um and going to be the featured character of this tower challenge so you know what lefou is coming beauty and the beast is going to be useful which chapter well i will tell you it is going to be chapter three so chapter three guys beauty and the beast has to be ready now remember when you update your game 
Uh, Beauty and the Beast characters are going to require more character tokens, which is going to be a complete pain in the butt. Um, now, for me, Bell, for example, is a level 10, so that is awesome, and I'm super happy about that because I know she will be a character that will be useful in that, and you know what? Again, not going to stress about this. Things are good for that character. Beast is a 9. However, I know that if I update the game, not that the update's available just yet for me, but... Uh, if I don't level him up, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to collect more character tokens for him. Also, too, I'm wondering, I don't know for sure, but I'd love to know this, and I will do a video on this uh, as soon as I update my game. But um, I'm going to be keeping an eye on the characters and their magic, because if their magic goes up, I'm going to be a little cheesed about this. I understand the character tokens, they want to increase those and change who can collect them and stuff like that, but the magic... Ooh, I will be upset. It's only 13,800, which isn't actually that much uh, for uh, limited time characters or event characters. Like, for example, let's go to, like, Mulan. She's 12,800, and she's a 7. So, like, I don't know, guys, what they're going to do for this. Like, Hans is a 7, and he's 16,000. So they could increase, guys, the magic required on this. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but if they do that, I will definitely be upset. But we'll see. If you guys have updated your game, you can always let me know about that in the comments below. That will be super helpful and useful for all of the uh, players out there that are still updating their beauty and the beast characters and leveling them up and stuff. So let us know. Cogsworth, he's a level 9, so he will be very useful. But again, this is for Chapter 3, so I will talk about that in more detail um, sort of towards, I guess, maybe at... The, the middle or start of chapter two. I will be talking about it in my live stream as well that will be happening at the start of the tower challenge. So make sure you guys tune in uh, to that. That will be on the 21st. It'll start about a half an hour before the tower challenge is released to us. And guys, the tower challenge is released on a Thursday. So I know it's a little bit inconvenient and it will be like either I'll be doing it at 9.30 or 10.30 the live stream depending on um, when it is released to us, but I'll keep you guys posted tomorrow on uh, what time it exactly will be at, but it will be before the Tower Challenge starts. Mrs. Pods, I have her at a level 8. I'm going to try and level her up to a level 9 uh, before the update, at least, of the game, so I, I can start collecting her character tokens, and I won't need to collect a whole bunch for her and stuff like that. Um, so that'll be good. Chip right now is out for 16 hours, so he is going to be a level 9 um, after that. So this is good. He's already sort of gone out. I would be able to update my game, and it wouldn't affect him, so it's fine. Gaston, he is a level 9. He is all ready to go to a 10. So this is one of those ones where I'm like, ah. I don't know whether to do him or Mrs. Potts because I realize I'm running out of time. I'm going to have to update my game at some point probably beforehand. So it's going to be, I'm not going to be able to do Beast, uh, Mrs. Potts, um, and Gaston. So it's going to be tricky here which one uh, is going to end up being more. I'm thinking I should probably max out Gaston because he... Uh, his character token drops are, like, epic, I think, and stuff. So they're a lot harder than, let's say, beasts, which are, I think, uncommon and common. So I would say, like, if you guys are in the situation, definitely level up Gaston. I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing next, even before Mrs. Potts. Um, but if you have any questions about that, you can always let me know in the comments below. And I also, too, guys, if I'm a little slow on getting back to you with the amount of comments and stuff that I get now... Um, don't worry about it. The community is really, really great on my channel with getting back to you guys and answering a lot of your questions. So if I don't get to it right away, other people usually answer. So it's, it's really great guys to sort of communicate and let you let each other know what's sort of going on and the questions that you have for sure in the kingdom. The Lion King will not be useful, so don't worry about that. That will be definitely an upcoming tower challenge this year. There's no way there won't be. Um, so hold on to your hats with the Lion King collection. That's going to be interesting So when it comes time for that. I don't even have all the characters yet. Aladdin will not be useful in this tower challenge, but expect it to be in the next one because we are either going to be getting the Sultan or Raja in the next tower challenge. So... Be prepared, guys, that Aladdin will be one of those collections that you will want to work on, but you do not need to do it right now. It's just not the priority. But again, if you're looking just to level up a character here and there, Aladdin wouldn't hurt. 
Um, now, Alice in Wonderland. Guess what? That is going to be chapter two, guys. That was released on Instagram by Disney's Magic Kingdoms. So make sure your Alice in Wonderland collection is ready to go. Um, I will be working on that like a lot in uh, chapter one. I'll be working on leveling up these guys. Uh, for sure because I'll want them ready for the start of chapter two. Alice is a level seven, so she's not too bad. Uh, the Mad Hatter is a seven as well. Um, let's see, the March Hare is a six, so I'll probably work on leveling him up uh, once the chapter starts right away. Uh, let's see, the White Rabbit, he is a level six, so he'll be another one too that I'll wanna level up uh, pretty quickly there but probably before I do the sevens. Uh, also, the caterpillar is a six. Oh, geez, I got a lot of sixes here. This is gonna be a tough choice. I don't know. I don't know who should be leveled up first. Caterpillar, white rabbit, or March hare. Ooh, I don't know. Queen of hearts is a seven. She takes a little bit while to collect for, like a lot longer than the other ones. So, uh, it, mind you, she's a villain. So she's not always gonna be guaranteed as being one of those characters that's gonna be useful, but I think that will maybe happen after I do those level sixes. Um, then we've got Cheshire Cat, who's a six. Jeez, all these four hours. Okay, so these guys really got to go out. Um, but again, at the start of chapter one, I'll be doing a whole bunch of leveling up for these. So you guys can see all their welcome screens and uh, start getting them ready with me for sure. Regardless of what level they're at, make sure you guys try and get them going. Snow White will not be useful. I thought maybe they would have had a tower challenge with this right now. Um, over Beauty and the Beast, but that wasn't the case, guys. We are going with um, Beauty and the Beast, not Snow White. So I thought we were gonna get uh, the prince, but we are not getting him, so that, that's okay. No worries, um, there, my collection was isn't super prepared for that anyway. Winnie the Pooh will not be useful, so don't even think twice. Lilo and Stitch will not be useful, so don't worry about that. Um, my collection for this is also maxed out, so I've got now the Little Mermaid and Lilo and Stitch maxed out. So if we were using them, that'd be great, but we're not. We used Lilo and Stitch in the last Tower Challenge, and that chapter went really, really well for me because they were maxed out. So that was great. Now, Big Hero 6. Dun, dun, dun. Big Hero 6 is going to be useful in Chapter 1. So there you have it, guys. Chapter 1 is going to be on Thursday. So Big Hero 6 characters come first. Now, um, the reason why I'm not leveling up Big Hero 6 at the moment, because I already had started doing uh, Chip and stuff like that, but I basically just need to max these guys out. So this is really awesome. Um, I worked really hard on trying to get my Big Hero 6 collection ready because I knew that it was coming to be useful in Tower Challenge soon. So I knew that I need to prepare um, this collection and I have been working on it sort of gradually here and there during stuff you guys will have seen. Oh, why is she leveling up like a Big Hero 6 character now for 16 hours? It's just like focus on something else. It's like, nope, nope, I know it's gonna be useful. So I'm really happy that I was doing that gradually. Um, I will need to level up Hero uh, to get him to a 10. Baymax, I will need to level up him as well to a 10. Uh, Yoki, he's only a 9, so he's got to go to a 10. So I got to get some of these heroes uh, to a 10. Um, I've got Honey Lemon maxed out, though. Go goes a 9. So as you can see, Honey Lemon here, she is golden. Super happy about that. Fred is a nine as well, so everybody's a nine except for Honey Lemon and Wasabi, who is maxed out. So we got two characters right now, guys, maxed out. So that is gonna be super useful in the collection. I do wanna, though, start, I think, with Hero being maxed out um, in terms of the next character because if you look on Instagram, guys, he is the face of the collection. It's usually what happens with the first character released um, in the limited time events. They are usually the face of it and usually the most useful. Um, they are also the easiest to collect for. So definitely there are more like common or uncommon drops for those character tokens. So guys, get Hero like maxed out if you can or as high as you can before the tower challenge starts. So that means Wreck-It Ralph is not going to be useful right now, but we know in the upcoming tower challenges he will appear. So the tower challenge, uh, guys, I'll review it. 
Uh, so chapter one is going to be Big Hero 6. Chapter two is going to be Alice in Wonderland. And chapter three is going to be Beauty and the Beast. And uh, I know they haven't revealed it yet on Instagram about Beauty and the Beast being the, uh, the last collection in chapter three, but I promise you it is because they always make um, the collection of characters uh, that you're going to be using to collect the featured character. They always make that chapter three. That is something they've done since they started doing tower challenges. So that's how you know that Beauty and the Beast is going to be useful. If not, well, they have changed the tower challenges, but I promise you guys Beauty and the Beast is going to be extremely useful. So get them ready for sure. Uh, yeah, so just make sure you guys are ready to go with this. Now, I think that pretty much covers what you guys need to do uh, for the tower challenge. Obviously, guys, um, what is going to be useful in terms of collecting character tokens and stuff like that throughout the challenge uh, to level up those characters that you need. Get the parade floats sent out all the time. Make sure that you have them assigned. So, for example, right now, I don't need Princess and the Frog um, in terms of being useful, so I'm going to add Beauty and the Beast. They can collect uh, Lumiere's matches and stuff so that will be good um, Aladdin I don't need I'm gonna keep the jungle book for sure um, I'm gonna need to keep that going I don't need Winnie in the poo I don't need Big Hero 6 because that's all ready to go um, so I guess guys that's pretty good in terms of like what I need so I guess I can put on whatever I want we yeah, had Big Hero 6 just because that is going to be one of the uh, collections. But again, make sure, guys, that you're sending out your parade float. That will also help you collect character tokens in time for the tower challenge. Now, a lot of you guys wonder, will I need gems to buy featured characters and stuff like that? There will be featured characters. You will not be able to purchase them with gems. They will be in a bundle. And so you'll just be able to click the special up at the top. And it will have um, a character bundle like this one. Uh, now, this is part of my main storyline, guys. So, um, it will be a character that is part of the collection. Now, since I have all the characters to do with all the collections, those bundles will not appear to me. So, you guys can always keep me posted on that as the tower challenge uh, begins. But, again, it will look like this. There will be a price. Um, sometimes you can get some gems with it as well, which is always awesome when you purchase the character. Um, or else some event currency, whatever they decide to offer with it. So buying those bundles can be extremely useful for sure. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys are feeling a little bit better about the upcoming tower challenge because you know what? We need to get that curse out of our kingdom. The second it starts, we're going to be working on getting rid of it. Um, so again, you'll need to be checking your kingdom every two hours when you battle the tower. So again, keep that in mind, guys. You will need to check your kingdom a little bit more frequently uh, to, to work on collecting the event currency. So hopefully you guys feel a little bit better about the tower challenge. If you're not, again, feel free to leave questions and comments in the section below. Um, make sure you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, that you subscribe and hit that little bell for post notifications to stay up to date with tower challenge number five. Also, don't forget if you found this video useful um, and helpful to you guys, make sure to give it a big Mickey thumbs up and it also helps show support to the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys for the next Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Bye!